Happy noon, everybody. This is Judy Tuttle from Tuttle Up Stamping. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midland, Texas. And I don't know about you, but it's time to start hitting that easy button, right? Like we're, we're so busy. Um, and we were working on Christmas cards and we've been working on Christmas cards for a long time. And and we don't want to forget to be grateful for the things that are given to us during the holidays, the people that pour into us, the people that invite us into their homes for events or parties. And so today, I'm going to help you hit that easy button. We're going to do uh, several fast and easy cards with a Christmas theme that also... Um, invoke gratefulness okay so um i can't wait to get started and show you what i've done super quick and easy grateful christmas cards um i've been really leaning into gratefulness lately um i wouldn't say gratefulness comes easy to me by my nature but i really push into it and really every day wake up and think about people that i'm thankful for and that i can thank and that i can appreciate during the holiday season so bear with me and we'll do um some fun cards together in just a minute um first of all let me make sure i can get you over here on my um, screen so that I can see everybody and their comments. Um, I really love when you let me know when you're here and when you um, say hi to me and talk to me as I'm going through the process today. So um, um, I'm excited to be here with all of you. Okay, so we're winding down our holiday catalog. There are still lots available, and everything that I'm going to show you today is still available in the mini holiday catalog. So if you would like to get um, some of those things, you can do that. Um, those are still available. Uh, we still, though, are... are are headed towards our new mini catalog and celebration brochure. Okay, we only do celebration once a year now. It used to be twice. It used to be once and they changed it to twice. Now they're back to once again. But the mini catalog is our January to April special catalog that really focuses on spring and everything that happens around spring. So this is brand new. If you have been a customer of mine in the last year um, and you've spent $50 or more, I will be sending you the mini catalog and the celebration catalog in the mail. So no worries there. If you are a new customer to me, you've just started watching me recently and you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to get these catalogs in your hand. So if you will private message me with your um, information. Now, I don't give these out free at first. Hi, Sue. Um, I ask you to pay for the shipping but when you place your first order, I will take that shipping off of your first order, okay? So let me know if you would like to have the mini catalog and the celebration catalog in your hand. So what is celebration? Celebration is when you spend $50 of any product whatsoever, you get to pick something free out of the celebration catalog. And there's stamp sets, there's papers, there's dies, there's embossing folders, lots of fun things to share, okay? So, hi, Sue. Thanks for joining, joining me. So, um, like I said, today is all about gratefulness during the holidays and um, gratefulness for gifts, gratefulness for the people that surround you during that time, and gratefulness for people that invite you into their homes. So, I'm going to move my camera down. I've created... Three super fast and easy thank you cards for the holidays. And I'm excited to show them to you and show you what we're working with today. So let me get my camera turned down and we can get started. Okay, so let me make sure this is all set up well. Okay, so I am happy to send you a kit that has... Um, everything you need to make two of each of these cards. If you would like that kit, you will need to, okay, let me turn it a little bit this way. Um, 
there we go. It's perfect, right? Okay, so um, you will need to place an order of $35 or more in my online store. Use host code 6FZQQQC9. Okay, that's the host code. If you place an order in my online store, TuttleUpShop.com, and you use that hostess code, then I know that you watch this Facebook video and you would like a card kit with these cards in it, okay? So everything I'm using today, I said this earlier, is still available in the holiday catalog. And you might already have it in your stash because it's all been very popular. This is our Walk in the Forest, a Walk in the Forest designer series paper. And what is special about this paper is that Stampin' Up! is giving $2 for every pack of paper that is sold to a charity for um, helping the underprivileged, okay? So if you would like to help Stampin' Up! in that effort, um, a Walk in the Forest paper is a great one. It coordinates with our Polar Bear um, stamp set, our Marius Trees stamp set and dies, our um, Christmas Classics stamp sets and dies, um, beautiful papers, uh, double-sided I love the snowflakes. I just love that stripe. They all coordinate very well together. And, you know, Christmas is all about remembering that people have less than you. So if you're interested um, in, in doing the cards that I'm making today on your own, I used a Walk in the Forest designer series paper for my cards, okay? So I think I'll start with the easiest one first. Um, another thing that is uh, still available in the holiday catalog and will be carrying forward into next year, which is always fun, are these beautiful brushed gold note cards and envelopes. Um, you get, I believe it is 20, yep, 20 note cards and envelopes with this beautiful brushed gold on it. And... Um, Matching envelopes as well, okay? These are still available in the online store. So I want to start with just a super quick and easy card um, that you can make. And I'm going to be giving some of these to some of my customers because I just love um, really how fast and easy they are to put together. Um, I wanted to, get, to show you my example, but for some reason... It's not right here in my box where I thought I put it, so it's okay. We'll just do it together and it'll all be a surprise. So what I did is I took one of those note cards from the brush gold note cards and I have cut a piece of that Walk in the Forest designer series paper and this is cut two and a half by five and a half. Two and a half by five and a half. I love this, it has the pine cones, pine boughs, some berries, um, that are white and some berries that are red. Super pretty paper. And I am just going to attach this to the bottom edge of this um, note card right here. I hope you guys can still see me. My computer is has stopped and I keep having to like reload it. Um, so hopefully... You guys will see what I'm doing. Ah, oh, hi, Jen. Thanks for joining me. Um, and this is just a very, has a very slim edge off to the side. So I'm going to load this into my little mini paper cutter here and cut that little edge off. There we go. All right. Now, all I did was take our gold sheer ribbon. And I'm going to wrap it around my card base here and tie it in a bow off to the side. So, have you guys been busy this holiday? Oh my goodness, just so much going on. Tonight, I usually Zoom with you guys, my customers and my friends, and craft together. But my grandson has a performance at his preschool 
And the whole reason I moved to Midland is so I wouldn't have to miss things like that. So we will be going to watch his preschool Christmas program, which he is very excited about. And uh, so no Zoom tonight and probably not any more no Zooms until the first of the year because um, things after that we'll just get super busy with the holidays, right? Okay, so I just tied a bow right there on that left side and I'm going to cut down the edges here of this ribbon. All right. So there we go. I can play with that a little bit more when we're done here today. But there we go. So there's my ribbon tied around. Isn't that just really pretty with that brush gold at the top? Okay, so I have two circles that I die cut out with our stylish shapes dies. How often do I use those? A ton, a ton, a ton, right? Stylish Shapes, if you don't have a good um, Shapes die set, I would highly recommend the Stylish Shapes dies because they are just really so, so beautiful. Okay, so I'm taking my Pretty Peacock ink, and I'm taking a thank you that came from the Something Fancy stamp set. So if you're looking for a sentiment set, Something Fancy has just great sentiments. You matter to so many with their sympathy in there. Nothing Fancy, just love. Great thank you. We're going to also do this one right here, which is um, great for, for the um, everyday magic of you. We're going to be using that one as well. Um, so I'm taking thank you. And I'm going to stamp it right down here on, like, the bottom right-hand side of that circle. And then I'm going to grab, that was in Pretty Peacock, I'm going to grab my Garden Green. And I'm going to stamp some boughs using the Christmas Classics. Remember, this paper coordinates with the Christmas Classics stamp set. And I'm going to take this pine bough right here, and I am going to stamp it two times. Okay, I'm going to stamp it full strength one time. Let me make sure I get it inked up really well. Just like that. And then I'm just going to move it slightly. I love to do this and do a second generation stamp behind it to kind of give depth in that... Um, that look of, um, you know, different, different shades of the same color in there. Okay, and then I glued this on top of my gold foil paper. And I'm just going to use some Seal Plus right here. So you could whip. So this whole process of this, the whole purpose, I should say, of this Facebook Live is fast and easy cards to show gratefulness during the holidays, okay? So I attach that to my gold circle, and then I'm pulling out my festive pearls. I'm using these on all my cards today, and I'm just gonna scatter on some festive pearls here on my pine bough, maybe one up here. Um, Maybe one right there, and then don't worry, I will have an odd number. Um, I'm going to add one more after I get it attached to my card base here. So, um, isn't it pretty? Yes, Jen, thank you. I, what I love is that these would be super quick and easy to do what, with whatever designer series paper you have um, at your house right now. You know, we're, we're moving out of Christmas, and if you bought designer series paper that you haven't used, why not? I'm going to put it right there. 
why not use them to make beautiful cards to show your thankfulness? So here's card number one. Told you, super fast and easy, and then you could just write your little note on the inside. I love that one. Um, okay, and so the next one is going to be, let's see, my next easiest one is this one right here. It says, grateful for the everyday magic of you. So I took that, let me pull out everything from my little pre-cut stash here. I took a piece of balmy blue paper and I cut it four and a quarter by 11 and scored it down the middle at five and a half. And then I'm gonna use my bone folder I know, it's so easy and, and just really pretty. Who would not appreciate that? Like people, I had one customer that I sent her a little thank you note and she said, nobody ever thanks me for shopping with them. So thank you for sending that to me. People really do appreciate that. Okay, so this is part of that Walk in the Forest Designer Series paper. And I cut a panel of it at three, pretty sure it's, three and a half by four and three fourths. Three and a half by four and three fourths is the size of that. And I'm just gonna glue that right on the front of this balmy blue cardstock, okay? Just gonna add a little bit of stamp and seal plus there. Gonna line this up, kinda eyeball it. Oop, maybe I shouldn't do it upside down. Let's turn that around. <laughs> That was, that was on the verge of disaster there, but not. Okay, and then I have a piece of basic white cardstock here that is cut three and a quarter by four and a half. So a quarter of an inch smaller length and width than this base behind it. And then I just turned that paper over and the opposite side has these really cute little snowflakes on it and I cut three panels. They are cut three inches by one inch, okay? Three inches by one inch. So I am going to adhere these three panels. Oh my gosh, my dog who never barks, a squirrel just jumped up in the window right here by where he was quietly sitting and <laughs> So, excuse Buster for the bark. I, I promise you, I haven't heard him bark in ages, so that's so funny. Okay, so, hopefully he'll settle down here. Um, I'm putting one of these strips at the top and at the bottom, and I'm just being careful to see, like, an even space all the way around the edges there. And then I'm going to take my third one here, and... I am going to add it right underneath this top one right here. This is a design you've seen me use before. I just really, really love it. Okay, so then I'm gonna take this beautiful white iridescent ribbon and I'm gonna wrap it around this panel and tie a bow over here on the left-hand side. So my husband had to go to Abilene for some business today. Um, he doesn't go, leave for business very often, but he had a meeting with somebody um, in Abilene. So he will not be home until right before Lincoln's preschool Christmas show tonight. So I don't know, do you guys look forward to when your house is quiet and empty? At this point right now, I really do. <laughs> um, I just love being able to craft without any guilt um, that I am not paying attention to people that I should be paying attention to. So free day of crafting for me, guilt free. Well, almost every day is guilt free, but right now I'm feeling grateful for that. Okay, so I don't know, have you guys noticed sometimes it's hard to get 
ribbon really tight on a card, and I'm going to show you how to fix that, okay? So if I want to tighten this ribbon up a little bit on this card, I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to pull the ribbon down and add some seal plus right there. And then I grab it and I just kind of chintz it to the middle and it just takes the slack out of that ribbon right there. Okay, so there we go. There's my bow on that. And then I'm going to end up putting this right here. But before I do that, I have a special sentiment that I want to um, stamp on this. Punch, and I've totally, the name has totally escaped me. So if any of you out there can remember, it goes with the, oh, it's the heartfelt hexagon. It's the hexagon um, punch. As soon as I thought of the name, um, it, it came back to me. Okay, so on this one, I am using one of our stamps from the So Sincere stamp set. I love this stamp set. I love the sentiments in it. You're in my heart and prayers. Hope you're healing soon. Be grateful for what you have and be proud of who you are. I love, love, love that. That's a great graduation um, sentiment there, right? Knowing you has it brings joy to my heart. But what I'm going to use today is this one right here that says just love spending time with you. Isn't that a great sentiment for um, someone who um, has you to their home during the holidays? Um, maybe um, spending time with relatives that you don't get to see very often, um, your sister, a longtime friend, um, just loves spending time with you. It's just a beautiful sentiment. And I don't know about you, but if my kids gave me a card that said, just love spending time with you, it would make my heart so happy. <laughs> so, okay, so I stamped that right in the middle of that heartfelt hexagon. And then I'm just going to pop it up right here next to that bow. Okay, isn't that pretty? So, you guys, cards don't have to be a thousand layers and take hours to make to be impressive and beautiful, okay? Use what you have and make a beautiful card. And people are going to love it because they will feel so special that you remember to send them a card. And it doesn't happen these days very often. So, um... Don't worry about trying to blow someone's mind. I mean, every once in a while, right? I love, you guys know me. I love to make cards that blow people's minds. Um, but during the holidays, it's really more important just to appreciate them, right? Just to show them that you love them. Okay, so there we go. Just love spending time with you. Isn't that beautiful? And then I'm just going to pop this up right here in the center of that panel. Hi, Laura, Kim. Thank you for joining us. Um, I'm doing fast and easy thank you cards for the holidays today. So if you're just popping in, be sure to watch the first card I made because it was really fast and easy, right? And let's see here. Have I already cut that right there? No, I'm using all my edges. Do you guys do that around your design um, dimensionals? Because I don't like to waste any of this. I go through dimensionals like water, seriously. Every time I place an order, I put a, a package of dimensionals on it. Um, because, boy, they go fast. Okay, so I'm pulling off my backing, and then I'm going to put this panel right here in the middle of that designer series paper that I laid down a minute ago. So, so pretty, right? And then I'm going to add some gems, and I'm using back to those festive pearls. I love these. Beautiful and available, right? So what could be better than that? Um, and I'm just scattering them on wherever I want around the saying, bringing light to 
um, the sentiment. Um, use your, you guys could design this and use whatever designer series paper you have on hand and it will make a beautiful card, I promise you. I have used this formula um, for lots of cards, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, um, everyday cards, and I just think it's a beautiful design. Hi, Tracy Thompson. So glad to have you here today with me. I miss you. Hopefully, I'll see you soon. Are you going to Houston? Are you going to Houston in March? Hopefully, I'll see you then. So, isn't that just so pretty? So, that is my second gratefulness card. I just love spending time with you. Um, you know someone you love is going to love getting that card, okay? Now, my last one, last but not least, um, again, using that Walk in the Forest Designer Series paper. And again, for this one, I'm using the Something Fancy stamp set. So I used it for Grateful for the Everyday Magic of You, which is what this one says. And I used it for the Thank You Sentiment. And then I used the So Sincere for Just Love Spending Time With You. But any great sentiment set that has a thankful message would work for any of these cards, okay? So, for this last card, I'm pulling out... Uh, oh, I'm so glad they're bringing this ribbon back next year. My heart would hurt if they didn't. This is the Silver and White Sheer Ribbon. So, so pretty. You guys have seen me use that a hundred times on my cards, at least. And um, they're bringing it back or keeping it in. I don't know which one. I don't know if it'll be in the next annual catalog or in the next holiday catalog. But regardless, we all love it and we're glad it's kind of not going away forever, right? So, I have a piece of basic. No, I like. This is gray granite. Gray granite cardstock. Cut five and a half by eight and a half, scored down the middle at four and a quarter. It's a typical A2 size card, okay? And then I cut a piece of pretty peacock that is just an eighth of an inch smaller. So it's gonna barely, barely fit on the front of that card. So this is five and three. No, nope, I said that wrong. Yeah, I did. Five and three eighths by four and an eighth, okay, is what the pretty peacock is. And then I took a panel of that walk in the park paper and I cut it four by five and a quarter, which is what we normally cut it. But then I cut it into three strips that are all seven and three quarters of an inch wide. So I started with a four by five and a quarter panel, and then I cut it into three panels that are one and three fourths each, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adhere these panels to the front of my card. Um, and they're gonna abut each other. Sometimes we leave a little space in between them, but for this one, I wanted to keep it simple with the measurements, so there's my first panel. I'm going to go ahead and put the same panel on the other end. I've just found that this, for me, is the easiest way to do it. So same panel on this other end here. Of the trees. And then I'm going to flip this over, and the stripes are going to go right there in the middle of those two, okay? We could have easily done this with that snowflake paper that I used earlier. Yay! Tracy's going to be in Houston. Jen's going to be in Houston. I don't know about Sue, if you're going to be in Houston or not, but I'd love to meet you in person. Sue and I have been friends for probably five or six years, Stampin' Up! friends, and we've never met. She's a demonstrator in Ohio. So, and she's originally from uh, Iowa, which is where my son and daughter-in-law live. So, I'm just taking this panel and I am gluing it flat right on the front of this card. 
you know, sometimes when I sit in the morning, I try to think of people um, that I should send thank you cards to. I, I get a little overwhelmed. I'm just, um, I think we've just all been so blessed and um, sometimes forget that um, we are so, so lucky to have so many great people in our lives. And I bet it wouldn't take you long um, to, oh, Sue, too bad. I'm so sorry. Um, okay, so I'm stamping this right in the middle of this label that came from those Stylish Shapes dies again. So there you go. Grateful for the everyday magic of you. Isn't that a great sentiment? I love that one. Um, all right, so this is going to go here on top of my card. But before I do that, I'm going to take my Seal Plus and just put a bunch of Seal Plus on the back of that label. And I'm going to take a piece of this. You know what? I don't even have to cut it off until I'm done. But I do need to see where we're starting. Okay, so I've got it turned over backwards. I'm going down this way. And then I'm just going to flip my ribbon. Press it into that. And I'm going to flip it. I might need to pull that so it's a little bit wider. And then I'm going to flip it again. The nice thing about this ribbon is it looks the same on one side as the other. So you can't do this with all ribbons. But we can certainly do it with this one. Um, there we go. And look at that. Isn't that so pretty? I might need to shorten this up a little bit. So the nice thing is we can just pull it. You want the loops to show, but you don't want them to be humongous like that one was right there. Okay, there we go. Let me trim this a little bit more. So, so pretty, isn't it? And then I'm just going to attach that right here to the front of my card. The whole point of these cards is that you don't spend hours on them. We don't have hours right now. We are in crunch mode, right? So we're hitting the easy button today and getting these cards... Better to say thankful in an easy way than spend hours on it and not get them out to the people that we want to appreciate um, during the holiday. So saying Merry Christmas is great. Also saying thank you for gifts or parties or tins of popcorn. Any of those things that come to your office are all great ways to let people know you appreciate them, okay? So I've just added dimensionals to the back of that label, and those little edges worked really nice. I got them right in between each of those ribbon. Um, oh, thank you, Cindy. You're always so good about sharing. I really appreciate that. Um, okay, so I'm going to lay that right here. On the front of my card. How easy and simple and beautiful is that, right? Um, people who are not stampers or stampers, either one, are going to love these cards um, because you thought about them um, during the holidays, okay? So now I'm taking these and you guys just go through your stash and find some embellishments that match what you're using. These are those uh, glittered adhesive gems that were part of the Polar Bear Suite. Um, and I have all these green ones left over. So I'm going to use them on my cards here. And I'm going to put two right there. And I'm going to put one big one down here at the bottom. Um, and don't you love that? I love those. You could have used this, any of the colors that came in this set. But you know what? I'm using them because I need to. I have them, and I better use them. Okay, so I want to show you the three cards again that we made today. So beautiful. Super fast and easy. Um, today's theme was hitting the easy button to show your gratefulness to the people in your lives. Here's the thank you made with that brushed gold um, note cards and envelopes. 
and um, I just love them, don't you? So if you would like to get a card kit to make these six cards, I just need you to place an online order of $35 or more using the host code that is right here, 6FZQQQC9, and I would be happy to get a kit with these in your hands. Now, I cannot provide the ink and the stamped images. You're gonna have to use your own thank you sentiments that you have at your house, or you can feel free to um, order them from me so that you can get the kit. The three stamp sets that I used were Christmas Classics. The number on that is 161970. I used So Sincere, which is 162283, and I used Something Fancy, which is 160416. So, I hope you love these. Um, nothing fancy, right, uh, about them, but we're in, like I said, we're in uh, hit the easy button mode, and let's get those Thank you, gratefulness cards out to the people we love at Christmas who've done nice things for us and get those Christmas cards out. Why make beautiful Christmas cards and not send them out? You need to get them in the mail. So God bless everybody. I will be here next Monday and then I will be taking um, a couple of weeks off for the holidays, but I'm always so, so humbled and grateful that you spend your time with me on Mondays at noon. Um, if you're watching replay, let me know. Um, and I will have three of these cards to give to somebody next Monday who comments, watches, shares, um, lets me know you're here and where you're from because that always warms my heart. So God bless everyone. We'll see you next Monday. Bye-bye.